Hello friends, uh, what we are going to learn today is installing Zookeeper on your operating system whether it be Linux Mint or Ubuntu both are Debian based operating systems so not a big deal so today we are going to install Zookeeper on Debian based operating system right? so I have created one block for uh, easy making things I am just going to uh, show it to you people and I am just going to follow these steps so as to make it everything easier so first and foremost thing you can see over here is uh, um, get these repositories updated and installed so i'm just going to do that thing just opening one terminal over here i hope it's done okay so just pasting it over here you can use my blog i'll just post this blog in my description also so as to make it work easier why to update this repository is that sometimes operating system needs to update its repository so as to get the latest versions downloaded from the internet so with these updations it will be very much easier to cast all the things in the uh, operating system I hope, uh, but my internet is pretty much slower, so I might pause it in some context or views so that uh, it does not waste our time for creating a video. Uh, and I could show it to you entire thing in very lim uh, limited and less number of time. It's just uh, pausing it un until and unless it actually gets updated. Right? Okay, friends, so you can see over here it has been updated. The second most thing that is uh, in this tutorial is to uh, upgrade the entire uh, programs and software so it does not have any dependencies left to be installed. Uh, let's paste it, pressing it enter. Uh, it says two, two new softwares has to be upgraded. Never mind, I'm just going to press yes and install it uh, it's going to upgrade approximately 145 kbs of data so it's okay for me you can see now it has been upgraded so it does not have any of the dependencies left and it does not irritate us to any report also if it shows any errors over here that means some of the partial softwares have been left to be installed and you need to install that things first fine so if that comes up in your space just go to sudo apt get minus f install fine by these commands if any of the uh, softwares are left or partially installed it will automatically install it and remove certain errors fine this is the basic thing that you can have but this thing is an optional thing i would like to say it's an optional fine anyways uh, the third thing over here is we are going to install all these packages into our operating system so as to cut uh, the very things short because these things are, will be required for zookeeper to somehow execute certain things right? so let me do that again over here i'm just going to paste it but i'm just going to also install nano editor along with these things these two packages are for the persons who have uh, anyways uh, these are the two editors that actually are needed to edit certain files if you are using um, terminal based operating systems in linux and debian with debian os at that time you will need these two uh, editors to edit certain files so i'm just going to upgrade it if there are any upgraded things right now uh, it is showing me that all these things are actually installed and not, not to be upgraded by any means anyways uh, it's been done fine so after doing these things the step three is downloading this version if you want to download any of the other versions except this thing you can go to apache hadoop website that is uh, type it zookeeper apache hadoop apache sorry zookeeper apache and press enter oops my internet once again anyways uh, 
let us wait for it to open it google is taking much time uh, i'm going to apache zookeeper home after it gets open you can see these are the versions actually released up to now uh, while you will be installing it the steps will be almost remaining the same it doesn't have any of the changes in the step but there might be some other versions or current uh, stable versions available over at that time right now there are two stable versions available that is 3.4.10 and 3.3.6 so not to worry about the same anyways i'm just going to click on download button and i'm just going to click on once again over here on download button or download link i could say not that one uh, it's going to take me to some other website that is uh, yeah red rock dg mark something uh, anyways i'm just going to click it over here uh, if you do not get any other things that which versions to download just click on the stable version and then uh, you will get this link over here uh, i click it copy the link also if you do not want to uh, if you do not prefer for uh, terminal based download you can just directly click on this link it's going to download 33 mb of data but if you do not want that and if you want to download it terminal based i'm just going to give you one command that is wget command and then right click and paste it this is what i have done in my uh, what we call is uh, just a second yeah yeah yes this is what i have done in my tutorial also over here and you can see it over here after that the step three is give read write and execute permissions in it so it's pretty much easier to give the read write execute permission permissions to the opd folder fine i have already downloaded the uh, file because i know my internet is very slow so i have already downloaded it so i'm not going to download this thing fine i'm just going to paste it and give the permission to opd folder press enter mind well you should keep sudo password with you so that it uh, actually goes in a smooth manner fine right now it does not ask me any of the sudo password because i already entered in the previous steps and the session is already on for me uh, after that let's see uh, i'm just going to create a folder that is big data folder i'm just going to copy this thing and paste this thing so it's going to create big data folder over here right it's easy after that i'm just going to untar this folder this file zookeeper 3.4.10 tar.gz to opt big data i'm just going to copy this thing and paste this thing and press enter and you can see over here it's uh, getting untarred to a particular location let's see cd opt big data enter ls enter you can see zookeeper file uh, folder is right now available for me uh, let's go inside and watch it oh, sorry watch it okay so now all the files and folders are presented over here in zookeeper so it's very much very much easier let's see what's going on next so you can well, yeah one more thing capit if you are going to type this command somewhere see to it that capital uh, c is capital over here as i have kept over note over here anyways the next thing is go to nano editor with dot bash rc file edit this file using a nano editor just going downstairs it's on the line number 126 that is the last line of the file i'm just going to copy these file uh, these things okay. copy these things paste it over here and it's done and yeah one more thing done is always done i'm just going to set this thing over here okay so let's save it exit the things uh, source command is used to load the newest bash rc file 
for that particular terminal okay echo dollar path enter you can see that the opt directory is now ready for uh, uh so zookeeper folder is now ready for our uh, execution let's try the dollar zookeeper underscore home enter so you are already into the zookeeper home but it did not show any error that means we are on the correct track okay so doing that thing um, yeah step five is to copy the zoo underscore sample dot cfg as in zoo dot cfg and edit it it's simple so let's go and do that so right now i'm in this directory that is present working directory is zookeeper dot three uh, minus three point four point zero one zero cd cons ls you can see zoo underscore sample dot cfg is already over here okay so i'm just going to copy this file zoo zoo dot cfg press it enter ls now you can see over here that zoo.cfg is installed over here. I'm just going to say uh, edit this file with zoo.cfg. Enter. With these things, I'm just going to edit this thing over here. Let's see. OPT, big data, zookeeper, minus. 3.4.10 slash data i need to create this directory or data directory as zookeeper will be using this directory as in data directory somehow fine you can read all these uh, queues and queries if you like it and on mine even if you want to create multi node multi cluster systems you have to add server one server two server three i'm not going to show it to you right now for the multi cluster i'm just going to create for the single cluster means so dot cfg uh, fine let's see so you can see over here uh, entire things are been completed and whatever written over here has been done but except this thing we didn't do this thing right now okay so do, let's do that thing also just going to paste it and enter Let's see if the folder has been created. Ls. In the initial thing, you can see there is no data directory over here. But now, ls command with ls command, you can see over here that um, data directory has not been created somehow. Okay, fine. Sorry. I should have done big data instead of her anyways and now let's see okay so now you can see over here the big data folder has been created very easily fine so whenever you run the big data it will show it to you so let's run and see it uh, zk server dot sh let's start the zookeeper server so you can see zookeeper is now started let's start the client version for zookeeper just pressing it enter you can see now that it has been watched event has been started and all these things are now okay i'm just going to press enter for it and you can see zookeeper client is also now running over here I'm just going to type quit command so as to come out from the zookeeper client fine i hope uh, you like my video do um, subscribe my channel and be posting lo lots more videos on this channel for installation purpose and for other purpose whenever i get the time fine do like my video and subscribe my channel also i will be posting the link for this uh, what we call is entire blog one more thing if you do not have jdk installed you cannot work zoo with zookeeper so please install jdk before installation of this video fine i have just written before installing zoo zookeeper note that jdk is installed in your operating system if you have not installed jdk yet follow the links 
is provided at the end of the article fine thank you all thank you for watching sayonara good night adios